What is going on guys? Thank you so much for tuning back in for another video. Today, this is gonna be a pretty quick one, but we're gonna be talking about why we offer the option of a rear track bar with our four inch lift kit. So as you can see with uh, the stance of our tires here, they are pretty much spot on being uh, the same width. Now, if you didn't have a rear track bar, they would be pushed farther over on this side. So they'd be sticking out further on this side and they would be further in on this side. What a rear track bar does, and there's tons of videos on YouTube that talk about what exactly it does, but because you have a fixed rear track bar from factory, it keeps your axle essentially in one spot underneath the vehicle, and then as you lift the vehicle up and that bar becomes not long enough to keep your axle centered, it pushes the, the axle over to one side, and that will always be over to this side. So essentially, if you guys understand the concept of dog walking, or where your axle, instead of your axles being straight in line, one is off to the side, you're basically always driving at an angle and you would be fighting that angle to keep the vehicle straight. So this would cause issues with tire wear, uh, just regular drivability on the highway. Uh, obviously once you get into faster speeds, you'll feel it more drastically because your vehicle will be trying to walk itself essentially to one side or the other. Uh, it, it's a common thing where people think that their tires are out of balance, or that they need an alignment, but it's actually because of the track bar. So make sure you're aware of that when you're lifting your vehicle. Uh, like we said with our four inch lift kit, we offer a uh, rear track bar with that. It's great, I, think, I believe it's three quarter inch chromoly. Uh, it's got very nice heim joints on it. Uh, we highly recommend it. It's uh, equal to all the other track bars that are offered on the market. Uh, but make sure when you get our four inch lift kit that you consider getting that. I would definitely get it at some point. You don't have to order it uh, specifically with the lift kit. I know a lot of people like to order our lift kits essentially in the parts, so you're not spending quite as much money at one time, but it's definitely something that I would add to the cart. Uh, once you lift the vehicle, if you don't really understand it still after watching this video, once you lift the vehicle, and then uh, look at your rear axle and try to figure out why it's so far pushed to one side. It'll make a lot more sense if you then rewatch this video and you'll be like, oh, so that's what it does. So again, if you have any questions, uh, shoot us an email, shoot us a DM on uh, Instagram or leave a comment. We've been really good at getting back to our comments on here. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Make sure you check out our website, www.nottroyrated.com. The link will be down below for all of your Jeep Grand Cherokee and Commander off-road parts. That's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next video.